In 1980, injuries from an automobile accident resulted in quadriplegia for Mary Kay Hoodhood. But that didn't keep her from an active life of volunteer work in her hometown of Grand Rapids, Michigan. I was working at our local soup kitchen, and I was working with a volunteer. And she told me about these children. There was a little girl that was digging through the trash, and she was looking for food. And she explained that, that they could identify 125 children, that they were at high risk of not receiving an evening meal at home. So I went on a little fundraising campaign, got the money, and we started feeding 125 kids. Fourteen years later, the program Mary Kay started has grown to provide wholesome take-home meals for 6,000 children at schools in the Grand Rapids area. A first grade teacher, she had been going home and telling her husband, these kids were just unruly and just a really tough class. After they started getting the sack suppers, she now understood that there was a hunger problem, not a discipline problem. The kids were just hungry, so they couldn't concentrate on anything else. Our sack suppers include, I'm so proud to tell you, a fruit and a vegetable, a meat or a cheese sandwich, all healthy things like granola bars, yogurt, 100% juice boxes. To assemble 6,000 meals a day, Kids Food Basket utilizes over 200 volunteers of all ages, from seniors down to a large number of teens and even younger. 25% of the work done by our volunteers is done by people under 18 years old. So we have a huge Kids Helping Kids program. You only have to be five years old to volunteer at Kids Food Basket. One of the stories that is really, I always say, should I tell this one? I hope I can get through it without crying. There's a story of a little girl that started receiving the sack suppers. And the first day that she got it, the teacher gave it to her. And the next day in the morning, she brought part of it back to school. And the teacher said, what happened, honey? Didn't you like your food? She didn't understand that she was going to get another meal the next day. So she was trying to ration the food. An advocate for childhood hunger causes on the state and national level, Mary Kay has led a recent expansion of Kids Food Basket to serve another 900 children beyond its home base in Grand Rapids. You know, there are a lot of people who are around and say, Somebody should do something about that. And I said, I can do something.